Hello and welcome to my Premier League preview and predictions. Thank you so much for tuning in to this one. I hope you enjoy. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe if you are new. I do this every single week and it's one of my most popular videos, so I hope you enjoy. And if you do enjoy, make sure you smash the like button. The first game is between West Ham versus Arsenal. Two London sides battle out on the early kickoff on Saturday. The last five games, Arsenal's form has been quite indifferent, really. Uh, two defeats, uh, two wins and one draw. Wins against Burnley and Fulham, as you would expect to beat them. Defeats against Liverpool and Southampton. And then a draw against Brighton. West Ham, I call them a very, very indifferent team. You don't know what you're going to get from from. West uh, West Ham, sometimes they're really good, sometimes they're crap, and you just have no idea what you're going to get. Two wins, two defeats, and one draw for them. So they're in the same kind of form. West Ham are at home and will be looking to get a win over their uh, London rivals. They are currently in fifth place, Arsenal, and we'll be looking at getting back into the top four. A win and a, um, you know, like a very, very very good win they, they could go above uh, Chelsea into fourth um, West Ham with a win could go as high as seventh um, which would be very very good I'm going to go for a shock here I'm going to go for a uh, West Ham win and I think it's good because they've struggled away from home Arsenal they got hammered by Liverpool they struggled against Brighton they lost to Southampton and I think that will that and, and West, Bro West Ham sorry are better than than Southampton they're better than Brighton so I think Felipe Anderson and Ronaldovic will cause them a lot a lot of problems and I think they'll win I'm going to go 2-1 to West Ham now the next game is Brighton versus Liverpool and Liverpool come off the back of two defeats in a row they're yet to get off the mark in 2018 losing 2019 even Manchester City and Wolves have both beaten them in 2019 Brighton, they are doing very, very well as well. Draws against the likes of West Ham and uh, Arsenal. And then wins against Everton and Bournemouth in the Cup. Brighton, they are doing very well. I don't think there's any sort of chance that they'll go, go down. They are doing very, very well indeed. Liverpool, they're top of the league and really uh, need to get the win to extend it back to seven points after a struggling few, uh, few games against Wolves and against uh, City. They need to get it back. Uh, Brighton are in 13th place and have won one of their last five games. I think this one will be difficult. I think this one will be really difficult. But I think Liverpool will have enough to get the win. I'm going to go 2-1 to Liverpool. A tight, tight victory. But a huge, huge three points um, for Liverpool. And they would go back to being seven points clear. Next game is Burnley versus Fulham. A massive, massive game down the bottom. An absolute huge game down the bottom. Uh, Burnley, they won in their FA Cup uh, game 1-0 against Barnsley. They've won their last three games in a row, beating West Ham and Huddersfield. Fulham, they got uh, knocked out by Oldham, which is one of the biggest shocks of the um, FA Cup third round. They lost to Arsenal in their last Premier League game. Beats Fulham 1-0, and then draws against Wolves and Newcastle, as well as a defeat to West Ham in their last five games. Burnley, they're looking a lot better, and I think they will beat Fulham to move themselves away from the relegation zone. I'm going to go 2-0 to Burnley, and that could see them go above Newcastle into 15th, which would be very, very good indeed. Cardiff take on Huddersfield, an absolutely massive game down the bottom. Cardiff are in 17th place, and they could go as much as five points clear with a win here. They've won one of their last five games and also got knocked out in a shock defeat to uh, Gillingham. Huddersfield, they're in absolutely terrible form. They've won none of their last five games. They got knocked out to Bristol City in the um, in the FA Cup. And I think they'll lose again here. I'm going to go 3-1 to Cardiff City. And Cardiff will be absolutely delighted getting over the 20 points mark already um, with uh, 20 
two games gone. That would be very, very good indeed. Next, Crystal Palace versus Watford. Crystal Palace are in 14th place and have won three of their last five games, having that amazing um, win over Manchester City, as well as a 1-0 win over Leicester and a 2-0 win over at Wolves uh, and a draw and a defeat in those last five games. Watford, they've drawn their last two games and won uh, two and lost one of their last five games and also won in the FA Cup against Woking 2-0. This one could go either way. I'm going to go for a Crystal Palace win. I'm going to go 2-0 to Palace. Uh, and that would be a big step in them staying up once again. Next we have Leicester versus Southampton. Leicester are in 7th place. And Southampton are in a totally different place in 18th. So both sides are having a totally different seasons. And Claude Puel will want to get one over his former side. Ralph Hasenhuttle. Um, things have looked up a lot uh, since he's been there. Two wins, one draw and two defeats. That brilliant, brilliant draw at Stamford Bridge. And also wins against Huddersfield and Arsenal. So they are doing a lot, lot better in recent weeks under Hasenhuttle. But with Burnley playing Fulham. With Cardiff playing Huddersfield, they need to get something here. And I think they will. I'm going to go nil-nil, um, which won't be the best result for Southampton. But I think a point would be absolutely brilliant coming away from the King Power Stadium. The uh, 5.30 kickoff is between Chelsea and Newcastle. Chelsea, they have conceded just 16 goals all season and have won three of their last five games. Defeat against Leicester and that 0-0 draw against Southampton would give Newcastle very much courage knowing that they have struggled in the past few weeks at home against lower league teams, i.e. Leicester and Southampton. But they have only won one of their last five games, Newcastle, drawing two and losing two. And I think they'll lose again. I'm going to go 3-0 to Chelsea. Uh, and they would um, have a cushion on fifth and sixth place if they were to win and Arsenal were to drop points. On to Sunday's games now. Uh, the first of which is Everton versus Bournemouth. Everton have had a very, very weird season indeed. They're down in 11th, winning just one of their last five games at 5-1 hammering of Burnley. Bournemouth, they've won one of their last five games as well. A 2-0 victory over Brighton and a 3 all draw with uh, Watford. The only points they've picked up. I'm going to go for Everton to win simply because they're at home and Bournemouth are really out of form. Everton are out of form, um, but Everton are a little bit better and they did win at the weekend against uh, Lincoln. Bournemouth ended up losing to Brighton. So I'm going to go a 2-0 win to Everton. And then the, probably the game of the weekend is Tottenham versus Manchester United. Tottenham have won four of their last five games. That crazy defeat to Wolves, the only time they have dropped points in their last five games. Beating Cardiff, beating uh, Bournemouth, beating Everton and beating Burnley. Some big, big scorelines in there as well. And a win here could see them go above Manchester City. Personally, I think Manchester United, even though they are looking better, wins against Cardiff, Huddersfield, Bournemouth and Newcastle. You can start to see a little bit of frailty in their side and I don't think they're good enough to beat Tottenham Hotspur. I'm going to go a 3-1 victory to Tottenham and they would go above Manchester City into second place. The final game is involving Manchester City and Manchester City will be taking on Wolves. Now... Between the last two games, they have scored an amazing 16 goals between them. A 9-0 win over Burton last night. 7 win at the weekend uh, against uh, Rotherham. A 7-0 wet finished. And they are looking a lot better after a struggling, struggling few games. At two games they lost in a row. They have now gone on to beat Southampton as well. And also got three points against the team top of the league in Liverpool. Uh, Wolves, they have won one of their last, two of their last five games, uh, beating Bournemouth and also beating Tottenham. They have given every single team a run for their money in the top six this season. Drawing against United, drawing against Arsenal, uh, beating Chelsea, beating Spurs, beating Liverpool in the FA Cup and also taking a point from Manchester City. I think this one will be tight, but I think City will have just enough. I'm going to go for a 2 one victory thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed if you haven't already feel free to smash the subscribe button and like the video if you enjoyed feel free to put your comments in the in the comments as well get your uh, 
predictions as well. I'd love to hear everyone else's predictions. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. My name is Mike, and I will see you soon.